Hey everyone, Tiram here, and boy do we have a doozy one today. I just wanted to go over my thoughts in regards to the recent news about Final Fantasy XIV uh, reaching to having more subs active subscribers or players than World of Warcraft. And just kind of talking about how we're seeing some of those content creators from WoW uh, look into the game and talk about it. And just kind of answer the question, should you maybe consider playing? We're going to apologize in advance at first. Uh, this is the first time I've done kind of a face-to-face -face type of video, um, so bear with me. Uh, this will be the, a fun ride. Uh, First, I want to just go and talk about you know the active players uh, and talk about the actual uh, facts. So, if you haven't seen the article, I'll go and link it in the description below. But if you haven't seen the article, it kind of just shows Final Fantasy XIV their active player numbers versus WoW's player numbers, and that it hit you know number one. This kind of spurred a lot of these conversations regarding all the other things. But I want to just kind of say, hey, those facts may not be 100% accurate. Even the notes on that on that article, it does say. That the numbers aren't accurate. They're kind of taking them from many different aspects of the uh, of the of the media, of other websites, things of that nature. Um, also, they split classic WoW and retail WoW, which I know a lot of people think retail WoW is the main part of the game, but classic still I think has some merits to it. So technically, if you add them together, WoW is still technically the number one. But I'll, I'm not going <laughs> to go into specific details on that. We're just going to go off what the article says. Um, so. I just want to say take that with a grain of salt, but I think what can be said in regards to everything going on with the conversations that have been being made is there's two different sides of this. You got your WoW players who are looking at the devs for Bl uh, at AKA Blizzard and saying, hey, we are not happy with the state of the game. Uh, we want to make some changes and they don't feel like they have the back of that of the devs. Whereas Final Fantasy players, they do come from a, a, a better uh, mutual respect an agreement with the dev team and we respect them they respect us and we have a good relationship and for most part i think with the final fantasy 14 community is happy with the state of the game um also looking at you know seeing the wild uh content creators like as we go cellular and preach just kind of talking about it looking at like fight mechanics or saying that they're actually playing the game or even thinking about playing the game th those are kind of huge things you're just seeing the, these wheels kind of turn and why these these videos are being made so, but none of this is really new. Two years ago, when Shadowbringers came out, the whole WoW Refugee term phrase kind of came about. And that was something that has been kind of slowly throughout the years of Shadowbringers kind of been, you know, used and seen. But it hasn't really picked up steam as it has in the last couple weeks. And I think that's because of two things. One, Final Fantasy XIV's latest expansion was announced about a month ago at their Fan Fest, which People got a lot of excitement for. Plus, there was a couple other things that were discussed in that fan fest that kind of showed some emotions in regards to how the players and the community felt against with the dev team. And then you also have the other side of that with World of Warcraft still having with Shadowlands being out and still not having their first content, uh, major content patch released yet, and they don't even have a date for it. And there's just a lot of frustration on that. With TPC Classic coming out as well, there was. You know issues in regards to them speeding up like the release date giving people like no time to prepare for it um and when the <laughs> when the uh community asked for it to be ex extended it was met with like a no and it was just kept as it is now i'm not here to, to bash world of warcraft i've played obviously you just see from my shirt <laughs> I've, I've i've played the game before and even currently i am playing tbc classic but i, I played on a very casual level i'm not really good at the game um so <laughs> that being said i think the main thing that we could talk about is regards to should should you play the game if you're a World of Warcraft player or even any player from any other MMO should you play the game? Background for myself, I've been playing this game since closed beta and I have enjoyed everything for it. I started off playing Star Wars: The Republic and even World of Warcraft, and those two just never really sank with me. And then 14 came around and I checked it out and I've enjoyed it ever since. Um, but the question is, should should you play it? I, I personally think that yes. I think I think if you haven't tried the game you should definitely try the game um there's so many things that are different in the game now that they than there were back in when it first came out that may be interesting to you and there's a lot of like similarities compared to 14 and wow so if you're coming from wild you're going to notice a couple things that are are somewhat similar but you're only going to notice things that are a lot different uh, i'm not going to go into specifics on that as at this moment maybe we'll make another video in regards to if you are a new player coming from wow what can you expect what I'm here to really more or less address is it, it the age-old question is now 
too late to join. Um, no, I, I think that's a silly question. Uh, and if anything, right now is the best time to join. If you're interested, in, if you saw the Endwalker trailer and you're interested in playing the game, now is a good time to play because you can kind of get ready for it. You can play the game for free. Uh, the first, the, the base game plus the first uh, expansion is completely free. You can start a, start a character, level through, and let's say you get to like level 30 and you don't like the game. That's fine, at least you tried it. But it's better than just sitting on the fence waiting, waiting for a possibility to play it and then you regret not playing it when, let's say, you try later, a little bit later, when everybody's playing that. I will say the story is a little bit long, but it is probably the best aspect of it. It's a full-fledged JRPG game, and it's probably one of the best that they've ever that they've done in probably about a decade. Um, it does take a while to get there. I would highly recommend not to boost because you will be doing yourself a disservice. There's no reason to rush it. The content is always going to be there. And it's not that you're going to miss it, because there's a lot of things that people go back and do uh, later on down the road. So I don't want anybody to think that you're going to skip out and miss it if you don't do a boost and play now. Play at your own pace. The story is a good portion of the game, so that's kind of something that you probably want to sink in first and see. Uh, speaking to the 14 players that I've heard talk about people uh anybody coming over to 14 and they're getting some negative feedback i think that's silly uh, i've heard some people talk about world of warcraft players shouldn't be coming over to play the game that that doesn't make any sense to me uh, i feel like that we should be welcoming anybody in the more people that come and play the game the better uh we get more different diversity we get more different opinions there may be some things that we take and we know we, we play and we just don't realize that it's different and then we go over to and then somebody else comes and says, hey, this could be better. We should definitely change that. Uh, I think welcoming those opinions are great. Even Yoshi P has played World of Warcraft and is a big fan of Blizzard. So us like saying no World of Warcraft people should play in the game. Uh, to me, that's just kind of silly. Um, but anyway, going back to uh, should you play the game? Yes, I, I think I think anybody who has not given 14 a try should definitely give it a try. Um, and if you have any questions or comments or anything, put them in the comments section below. Uh, I'll do my best to answer them or maybe some other people uh, will answer as well. Um, but I hope you like this video. Um, again, this is kind of something new. Uh, if this did help you, uh, please consider subscribing uh, and liking this video. I do stream on Twitch uh, Tuesday through Thursday right now. Um, if you have any questions that you'd like to, to ask me in person, uh, please feel free to drop by. I'm happy to answer any questions that I can. Um, I have a couple more other videos leading up uh, leading up to Endwalker that I'd like to do uh, and maybe some will be like a new starter guide or uh, you know some things that you maybe if you're not familiar with uh, some things to know coming into the game that you can be prepared for. So anyway with that being said I'm going to go ahead and take off for now. Hope everybody has a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, see you later.